Virgo. Hello, Virgo. This is your forecast for June of 2013. And uh, yes, there is a shift uh, for you here this month. And you might have already started feeling that here at the end of May, as some of these planets now have moved out of Taurus into the sign of Gemini. And this is all now starting to put your career a little bit stronger on focus, which I think a lot of you will like because you are pretty much career oriented to and have been in the past. Uh, but a lot of you uh, Virgos are transforming that. What used to be so important to you, security, detailed oriented security and work ethics and so forth. So many of you have started to change and transform as Neptune went into Pisces. Many of you are now really opening up more, uh, I'd like to say, to your emotional selves, trusting it bringing it out there, wanting to explore it more. Uh, and it's really, really nice to see how this Neptune is lighting up the dreamy side of your nature. And uh, because it's that Neptune is in your seventh house, it's going to be there for many years. Um, but, but just how it already is affecting you uh, is coming through. And I see, you know, on my statistics, it's like you Virgos, you're way up there as far as seeking information, uh, spiritual information, which Neptune also is. You're growing, you're opening up that spiritual psychic c connectiveness that you do have in it, in your, in your nature. But now it's like it's starting to surface. It's starting to want to come out. It's starting to question these questions. And uh, it's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. And you're also uh, starting to seek different type of partners than what you did in the past. Um, before, security was very important. Now it's not as much in that because you feel you have security. You are security. So what you're wanting now from a partner is pretty much more somebody who is romantic, who is sensitive, who is spiritual, somebody who sees beyond the physical you and somebody who has the ability to kind of go in and see you touch you on the inside so these things are going to be much more uh, prevalent in, in your expansion as we move ahead and so uh, that's a beautiful thing um, but this month yes career is on here so there might be some changes for a few of you uh, the Sun is there Mars is there the new moon is here great time this new moon to kind of like um, put in some uh, new intentions for those of you wanting more work you know, not just this month, this is the time a year. It's once a year that you have it right here in your career house. So the affirmation would be for those of you wanting more work to take off a little time, do a five, 10 minute meditation on the eighth and just put it out there to the universe and say, I want X amount more hours a week or a month. Um, or I want to achieve this or that level in my career. I want my promotion and I want it within, give it a time frame, you know, to do that. And for those of you not wanting to work as much as you have, and we know, Virgo, how you always work and you work really hard and you not just only work your own job, but you take upon yourself everybody else's unfinished work and business. <laughs> so some of you are just saying, I don't want to work anymore, you know, or at least not as much. That's the route for you to go on the eighth, you know, to really focus, get into that meditative state and have a good talk with the ones upstairs and tell them, I'm done with it. What I want now is more off time. And you will see how over the next few months, especially when we get into to July there, um, August more so, I would feel, you will start already seeing results of that in August end of July August you're gonna take more me time off you're gonna love it you're gonna enjoy it and uh, that's just the beginning of you kind of slowing down on the work loads you've had so much so good for you the other is wanting to kind of climb up you can go that way too because these planets in your career house is in the sign of Gemini the twins so you can go either way here, okay? You can go that way or that way, your choice. 
So we're starting off top of the month here with a little uh, surprise, the Sun and uh, Uranus. So it's between the your career house and also um, money, grants, banks, bank loans, commissions, uh, something. Money from someone else could come in. It could also be something other than just money. It could be something of value coming to you from somebody on an intimate level. You know, something shared or something totally unexpected from this person who intimately will surprise you you know, with some emotions. So we can see that possibility too. Now on the third, uh, Venus is moving into your 11th house of, um, or into uh, Cancer. So you're going to be very nurturing here in the month of June. Uh, it's like you're wanting to take more time off here with friends uh, to hang out, communicate, and just absorb their beautiful energy. Maybe some of you just haven't had time to, to do that, and it's like catch-up time. And, and they're wanting to catch up with you, too, and you'll see just how popular you are this month when people are reaching for you, Virgo. You know, and it is, yes, also a part of that affirmation of stepping away from work. Why? Yes, also so now you can have time to do, go do those pleasurable things. Um, so you're already starting to see the effect of that as we come in throughout this month into July and then into August. And then we have on the 7th, something romantic, Venus, Mars, uh, in a great uh, constellation here where I, I see that you're reaching for something, once again, that can stimulate the ideal. You're, you're kind of really wanting to have an experience and you might be the initiator to start something, some communication or some talk there. Um, which will uh, actually Saturn will anchor that for you so it's not like just an initiation going out but it's also something coming back you know the return of it which will actually set it a little bit more should I say in stone for you so so great day there on the 7th and then we also have um, here the new moon that was the 8th and then we have something on the 11th I don't know what mm, this Venus is doing there with Pluto. There is an opposition, so you might feel a little provoked uh, or somebody saying something. It's just in passing here over the day or two, but, but it's like somebody sending something your way and I see you kind of wanting to immediately react to it. It's like getting your defenses up. It's not you throwing something out at somebody, but something coming your way. Um, so you'll just have to see what that is. I, I see Saturn Neptune there. Saturn's not too happy about it, so it's actually wanting to set things straight right away. So it's not like just hearing something and then running from it. No, I see you taking the bull by the horns here and saying, what did you exactly mean by that remark? <laughs> okay, please explain yourself. So, so you're meeting it, okay? You're going up against it, which is really good. And that's gonna allow that situation to get to the core and then you're going to split off from it, let it go. So it's not one of these long lasting festering things. And then we have beautiful day 1920. The Sun and Jupiter are going to be uh, conjunct. That means they're together in the sky. And the Sun is you and Jupiter is the happiest planet of all planets. Um, it's that happy-go-lucky energy. It's what the universe bestows upon you you know, in, in very big and expansive, not expensive, but expansive ways, abundant ways. So a great time to hang out with whoever of your choice on that day to have a great, great time. And Mercury's also conjunct Venus here the following day. Uh, so there's some more romantic and relationship communications that can work out for you quite well. Um, and then we have both the Sun moving into Cancer on the 20th followed by Jupiter on the 25th. So that's moving out of this career house, the sun, meaning your essence, and then Jupiter moving out of your career house into the 11th. Now you've had Jupiter in your career house for a full year until it moves out. And it's only there once every 12 years, you know, and it's the greatest, like I said, supportive planet that any of us can have with us. So you've kind of reached a high mark you can go 12 years back and look at where you were then and look at where you are now. 
But what Jupiter is now going to be beaming its beautiful rays and energy into is the, the area of uh, groups, hopes, dreams, wishes, you know, uh, um, more so how you communicate with new people, attracting new people, and maybe people in faraway places. You might be traveling uh, a whole lot too. Jupiter loves to travel and sightsee different cultures. And uh, this is where you feel you can nurture your spirit because this is where Cancer is in your scope. And Cancer it wants to nurture and it also wants to be nurtured. So Jupiter should be in a very lovely spot here um, from the end of the month and for the full next year to 2014, summer of 2014. And then some agreements coming in here on the 25th, 26th. If you have any interviews uh, pending, for example, I know a lot of you uh, are looking for new work. Uh, I've had a lot of clients lately, it has been Virgo, uh, asking what I could see. And they're personal charts for this. But you know, uh, the Sun and Saturn there on the 25th, great time uh, to kind of set things in stone, okay? And, and to come across with your own sense of authority and also radiating, you know, towards authority, which would be your potential new bosses, you know, or who you're interviewing with. So, and then uh, also Venus moving into, uh, ingressing into Leo, excuse me, on the 27th. That will be into your 12th house where you're going to feel the time to nurture yourself and your own needs, okay? Um, because we get so busy, you know, we get so entangled in life throughout the year that every once in a while we need to step back, you know, and, and create some me time. And having Venus there in the meantime saying what she wants she wants to have spa, she wants to be romanced, she wants to put her feet up, and she would like to be served dinner, <laughs> not to go make dinner. Uh, so so that will be a beautiful time here for you, oh, no, Virgo. And what else? Yes, I just wanted to warn you, uh, This um, on the 26th we have Mercury going retrograde, and uh, we all know that it's never a good time to buy anything big, expensive, uh, small things, so what if it goes to pieces? But we don't want to buy the big dollar items because they can very easily, you know, be bought, come home, and then they don't work. Then you're going to have to return it, and sometimes that creates havoc. And then there's communication and paperwork issues, you know, being delayed and all that. So, yeah, just try to stay away if you can wait to the third week of July, and if you can wait to the end of the July, that's even better. For anything like that so i guess that's what i have for you here this month and i wish you the best and i'll see you next month so listen to your moon sign and rising sign on your way out virgo bye now